Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to overclock your RAM if you have a Ryzen CPU. We are going to use two free programs for this. Links for the download are in the description. First, we're going to use DRAM calculator. And second, we're going to use Typhoon Burner, which is going to give us some details about our RAM. After the download is complete, we're going to extract the files. Usually I do it on my desktop. You can create a folder, name it whatever you want. As you can see, I already extracted them. After you finish the extraction, you can open up the folder and open up the program. You can uh, open both of them and have them side by side. So like I said, Typhoon Burner is going to give us some details about our RAM. So click read and uh, read one of your RAM sticks. Since I have two, they're uh, identical, so it doesn't matter on which one I click. Now on the DRAM app, you're going to have to select what architecture your CPU has. To find out what architecture your CPU has, you need to know what CPU you have. So you can find it in your device manager under processor. As you can see, I have a Ryzen 5 5600. You can Google your uh, Ryzen architecture as I did. As you can see, mine is Zen 3. In the app, you can't find the Zen 3, uh, but uh, you can select Zen 2. I've tested with a Ryzen 3700X, which is a Zen 2. And with this one, they both uh, worked with the, the same settings for the RAM overclock. Now the memory type, you can find it also in uh, the Typhoon Burner. My memory type is a Hynix CJR. The CJR you can find under the part number. The DRAM revision you can leave on manual. The memory rank, you can find it here. For the frequency, you can select either your uh, rated frequency or the frequency that you want to hit. If you want to change your RAM frequency, you can do so. But usually, the higher the frequency, the higher the timings. If you usually play competitive games at a lower resolution and low settings, lower timings will help. The BCLK, you can leave it as it is. The RAM modules, you are going to have to select how many sticks of RAM you have. For the motherboard, you are going to need to select your motherboard's chipset. If you don't know what it is, you can download HW Monitor and you can find it there. If you have a B550 chipset as I do, you can select the X570 chipset since they are very similar. Now for the rest of the info, you are going to need to go to the Typhoon Burner app Go to report, scroll all the way down, click on show delays on nanoseconds, click on file and export a complete HTML report. You can save it on your desktop. After you have saved the file, go to the DRAM calculator and click on import XMP. Find your save. and click open. Now everything is filled out for you. After you finished filling out all the info, you can click on calculate save. You should click twice since sometimes it bugs and it gives some other values. After that, you should do a screenshot and send it to your phone. After you have got your screenshot, Restart your PC and go into your BIOS. 
when it's in your BIOS, use your phone with the dead screenshot. Depending on your motherboard's manufacturer, the order of your settings may differ. Every value that I'm putting in I've marked with a red rectangle on the screenshot. If you find a setting in your BIOS for which you can't find the value in your screenshot, then leave it as it is. Now just try to follow along and pause the video if you need to.